guys, it's Melanie. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different for me. We are testing out a liquid foundation. That's right, you heard correctly. We're testing out a liquid foundation. <laughs> this is a big deal for me because I only ever wear powder foundation. It is just my personal preference. Um, my skin type is extremely oily and I do have enlarged pores. As a result, I find that for me personally, powder foundations just tend to work a little bit uh, better. But I had heard a lot of buzz about the brand new, The Ordinary Colors Serum Foundation. I wanted to give it a try because A, it's super affordable, and B, I do sometimes have people ask me if I have any recommendations for liquid foundations, and quite honestly, I don't have many because any of the ones I've tried in the past uh, just haven't worked for me. So I tend not to try them out very often, but this is super, super affordable. I will link this down below. They do, by the way, also have a heavier coverage foundation as well. This um, serum foundation is a very lightweight, light coverage foundation. Um, so if you are someone that has a ton of discoloration or you have a lot of issues that you're trying to cover up, this might not be the one to go for. But um, I wanted to try it because it was really inexpensive and um, I figured it was worth a go. If it doesn't work out, no big loss financially, right? So anyway, this is what the foundation looks like. Um, there is a, what I would consider a decent color range. Definitely go check out the link below and read up a little bit more about it. Check out their color range. The color that I chose for me personally was 1.2Y. They do have um, yellow. The Y stands for yellow. <laughs> so this has yellow undertones in it. As you can see, just naturally, I have a lot of yellow undertones. Um, they do have a pink and a neutral as well. So just depending on what your undertones are, um, you will you know, order according to that. And then one shade actually fits, I think, up to three different shades. I'm not explaining this properly. Please go check out the website. It will make sense. They have a chart there that will help you determine what your best color fit is. So um, the bottle is nice. It's plastic, which is great. If you want to travel with it, it does have a really nice pump. And um, the formulation is very thin. I don't want to pump any out onto the back of my hand because I don't have a tissue here to wipe it off right now, but you'll see it in the demo here. So basically what I'm gonna show you guys today is how this wears on my skin. Once again, my skin type is really oily. I'm going to show you footage of me putting it on and then I will follow up with two check-ins throughout the course of the day. And at the last check-in, I will let you guys know what my final thoughts are. So um, let's go ahead and get into the demo and then Let's see how this works on my oily skin. So let's get into it. So let's go ahead and try this foundation out. I am going to apply the foundation today with a sponge. Um, I don't like using uh, brushes for liquid foundation. I don't use liquid foundation very often. Obviously, I've said that many times. Um, and I really do want a kind of nice lightweight coverage. So sponge it is. This one is from Pure. Um, it's not a beauty blender as you can see. Uh, the color that I have is 1.2Y which is light with yellow undertones. I'm going to give this a good shake because this is a very liquidy formula and I did notice that it had a tendency to kind of settle a little bit in the bottle so mix those pigments back up. It's probably pretty good. I do like the packaging of this. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to put a little bit into the palm of my hand. That is liquidy. Okay. So that's two pumps there. We'll see how far that gets us. Um, I already have my Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense on. This does not have any... As Ooh, that might be a lot. <laughs> um, this does not have any SPF in it, so obviously I need to get an SPF somewhere. So that is what I have on my face right now. That's very yellow. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, let's see how this spreads. I like the color. 
color is definitely a good match. It's spreading very nicely. So far, it feels really lightweight. It actually feels very similar to the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, that same kind of light texture on the skin. Can you guys tell I'm totally not used to liquid foundation? Ooh, that wants to go in my pores. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry, I'm going to move this mirror closer. Definitely seems like it dries pretty quickly. That is just sitting in my pores. Balls. Okay, well, I am going to set this. Maybe it'll help once I set it with some powder. Maybe. <laughs> I I normally use powder foundation, so this is very different for me, but um, I was really hoping that um, maybe this could be a liquid foundation option that I could recommend for oily skin types. So we'll see throughout the day. So, so far, first impressions, it wants to settle into my forehead lines. Get out. <laughs> Get out. It feels really nice. Um, I don't, I don't love the way it looks though. I can, like, I really, like, I'm drawn into my pores, on my cheeks especially. Um, it doesn't seem as bad on my nose, but on my cheeks. Don't love it. It is dry feeling for the most part. There's a little bit of tackiness in some areas, but it seems to dry down pretty quickly. So seems well blended. Good coverage for even being light and using with a sponge. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set this and I'm going to use the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder, what a mouthful, in the color light. So just going to use a Zoeva Grand Luxe Powder and put a little bit over top and then I'll finish the rest of my makeup. I get pretty oily throughout like my entire face so I always set everything not just the t-zone mm -hmm. that helped the look of my pores a little bit I can still I can still see the foundation sitting in there but I do have pretty enlarged pores um, vastly improved but they're, they're still there. I mean they're noticeable. I'll be curious to see what this does throughout the day. So all right it's set. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then um, I will be back for checkouts throughout the day. So I'll try to do at least two check-ins with you guys. Right now it is 9.54. Getting kind of late start so we'll say 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock maybe I'll do a check-in at one and then another one maybe right before I head to the gym. So we'll see how this does on oily skin. It's time for check-in number one. So I have my mirror here and I'm gonna I'm gonna inspect how this looks. <laughs> um I have to say I'm actually pleasantly surprised. We are at just about two hours into the foundation being on my face 
and normally within two to three hours, most regular liquid foundations have melted off my face by this point. My skin is extremely oily, you guys, and most things do not stay put, which is why powder foundation really has been the best thing for me in the past. But like I said, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. It is de it is still on my skin, very much so on my skin. It didn't oxidize. It didn't um, darken in any kind of way. I have what I would consider to be a really nice glow to my skin. It's definitely not matte. I do prefer a little bit more matte, but this isn't like unbearable in any kind of way. And let's see. There is a little bit of settling into like my forehead lines, but that's not bad. I feel like I could just take a sponge and kind of lift that out. And that does seem to work. There's a little bit of um, like settling and a little bit of separation around my nose, but it's not terrible. Um, under eyes look good. My pores look a lot better now than after I first put it on. When I first put this on, I definitely like wanted to settle into my pores. Powdering over the top helped and I think just um, settling into my skin a little bit more has helped a lot. So yeah, not bad. I really, I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. Um, I, I really like the way that it looks right now actually. I am pleasantly surprised. We're gonna see how it does over the next couple of hours though because I think that'll be the real test. Stella and I have a little bit of running around to do and um, yeah, the next check-in will probably be around 4, 4.30. So I will let you guys know what my final thoughts are at that point. But just for a first check-in, I'm pleasantly surprised. So who knew? <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in the last check-in where I will also share my final thoughts. Okay, right, we are doing the final check-in. It is currently 4.30. And um, I am, I'm gonna wear this to the gym. I'm gonna see how this does with uh, with a workout. <laughs> so I did put my uh, makeup on a little bit later on today. So um, I just kind of wanna see how it looks when um, I'm in a little bit of a warmer state, if you will. Uh, right now, it's actually a pretty cool day. It's been cloudy all day, about 65 degrees. So um, it's done really well in just kind of what I would say normal weather conditions are, um, kind of cooler weather, uh, hasn't melted off my face. I have blotted twice, and what I did was just take a piece of tissue paper and sort of press that into my skin to absorb any excess oil, but it really wasn't terrible at all. I have to say that I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, I didn't expect to be impressed by it. I'm not gonna be wearing this on any kind of full-time basis at all because I'm just not a liquid foundation kind of girl, but this is a liquid foundation that actually works with my extremely oily skin. Now, keep in mind, I've seen other people do reviews on this who have had extremely oily skin and it didn't last on them, so um, I think it might vary from person to person. <laughs> The good thing is it's really inexpensive, so I think it's worth a try. I will let you guys know in this week's Friday Favorites and Flops um, how it did through a workout, and I'll wear it a couple more times this coming week, and um, I'll let you know, like I said, in Friday Favorites and Flops what my thoughts are um, when the weather's a little bit warmer, um, how it did with the workout, but overall, I'm pretty impressed. No oxidizing, hasn't slid off my face. Um, I am pleasantly surprised. So there you guys go. Um, leave me any questions down below in the comments and then if you are not subscribed, please subscribe so that you're notified of my upcoming Friday favorites and flops and I will let you know how it does in some other conditions like I said as well. So. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.